Thomas came back with exciting news. Steffi is going to visit our island. Again? questioned Percy. I thought he visits our island occasionally. He got rescued by Rusty, then left, came back to help Edward out on the loop line, and again, just only to get covered in pink sugar. Don't forget by the time Stepney helped me and Mavis at the quarry. Gain himself lost and was willing to stay for a while, Toby butted in. Stepney left at what the latter Percy said. Well, it was his choice to come back only for a visit, so he gotta be prepared for when he comes. The engines got to work and started the preparation. In no time, everything was done, and the engines waited for Stepney to arrive. A signal was shown, and out came a whistle. It's Stepney! shouted Percy. Percy was right. A few seconds later was the Bluebell engine himself, Stepney. As he was seen, the engines gave a ominous toot. After, there was a moment of silence, until Stepney spoke. Hi Thomas, and your best friends. Welcome, Welcome back. back! The engine spoke in unison. How is your railway going? asked Thomas. My railway is doing great. What about yours? It's a long story. Long story short, we had some ups and downs on the railway, Percy concised. That's unusual. They enjoyed the conversation just as the top of hat walked in. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome back, Stepney, he welcomed. What made you come back here? My railway controller asked me to go to Sorter again for a visit. Seems reasonable, the top hat pondered. But anyways, enjoy and take your time as you can. And so they did. Stepney got around to do the express jobs by taking turns with Henry and Gordon. They phrased how a little engine can do big things. He even ran Toby's and Thomas's branch lines for a bit and spent the night there sometimes too. But there are some things Stepney dislikes doing on the island, but that's another story.